Mel Kuyper dropped his mock draft today is 3.0. We're going to cover that and cover the landing spots for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Make sure you follow along for your NFL team and also hit that subscribe button because we're going to get you ready for the NFL draft and help you win those rookie drafts for your Dynasty Fantasy Football teams. But on to the mock draft. Here to look at what he's got here for his round one predictions. We have not had a two-rounder yet from Mel, but I'm sure that's coming as he starts learning these players. But look at the picture here. There's Mel's pretty face. And the first player off the board, Caleb Williams. Who else? Who else is it going to be? No one's going to get spicy with this pick. No one's going to clickbait with this pick. Caleb Williams, 101 to the Bears. 101 in Dynasty Superflex rookie drafts. I don't know what else to say. We've heard everything on Caleb Williams, so let's move on. Let's see where they get spicy at. Next is Jaden Daniels to the Washington Commanders. And we've looked at him and Drake May at the Commanders every single day on mock drafts. All offseason long. And the thing is, you're going into a busted situation. you got to develop quick here. Hopefully you can do that for Dynasty value. 103 range after Marvin Harrison Jr. Somewhere around there. 103, 104, 105. Really depends on what happens to the wide receivers. Let's move on down. Who do you think is going at three? I think we know. I think we know Drake May. I feel like this isn't a great fit for him. I feel like the Patriots is not a great fit for any of the wide receivers. I feel like Drake May may not fit well here. But when I look at him for Dynasty Fantasy Football and quarterback value... He's going to hold it. Bryce Young's holding his value in startup drafts right now due to the super flex privilege. That being said, Dynasty Fantasy Football is going to hold that value. NFL-wise, you've got to be patient with them. The league's not patient with quarterbacks, but you got to be patient as a fan if this happens. The Patriots are retooling and rebuilding. More like rebuilding. they got to make some stuff happen, and it starts at quarterback. They should not be going Marvin Harrison Jr. with the pick. they got to get a quarterback. They got to get a quarterback to build around, and they got to build around that quarterback, but they can't build around a quarterback until they got a quarterback. So that being said, Drake May coming to them, and I think he's a great prospect. I think he's got some upside. They better tap into it, though. Next pick off the board, Marvin Harrison Jr. to the Cardinals. Fits well there. He's been mocked there in almost every single mock draft that's not trying to be trendy. And I think him and Kyler Murray is going to make good music together. 102 in Superflex, 101 in 1QB, Dynasty Drafts. He's probably going to hold some value in Fantasy Year 1. That's what I'm seeing here. Next player off the board is Malik Neighbors going to the Chargers. People are going to go crazy over him, him and Justin Herbert. Neighbors is going to develop fast. Top-tier prospect, generational prospect, just like Marvin Harrison Jr. Love the spot here. I see the Chargers going offensive line, but Chargers don't have wide receivers either. So who knows what they're going to do. And you're not going to see a Malik Neighbors in every draft. That's just not going to happen. So if a, a Malik Neighbors comes your way, you make that pick. Moving on to our next pick at 106. Well, we're going to see a Romo Dunze to the Giants. I've talked about him a few times. NFL terms. You got your Jalen Hyatt. You got your Wando Robinson in the slot that you can kick outside. And Romo Dunze has got some size to him. You can stretch it downfield with him. Played a short intermediate with them, multifaceted. So you got a good core wide receivers here to build around. Mel also likes Danny Dimes. He loves Danny Dimes. He's talked about at nauseum. He loves Danny Dimes. So he's not going to put a quarterback here. He's not going to do it. He's not going to put J.J. McCarthy to the Giants. What if they did that? What if the Giants took J.J. McCarthy here? Is that a smarter move? Or is that a dumb move and should you just go Roma Dunze and just get Danny Dimes some more pass catchers? Let me know in the comments below. That just came to me as an epiphany. But we're moving down to 107. Dynasty-wise, Roma Dunze, coming back to that, same as before. Middle of the first round, getting value there. Moving down to the next guy. Joe Alt to the Titans. He's mocked there so many times. Good, strong offensive tackle. Dallas turning to the Falcons. He's getting mocked there. Almost every mock as well. Next, Chicago Bears, Jared Verse. I saw him fall on a mock the other day. I think it's the PFF mock. We covered that yesterday. Bears get defensive end. I think that's a solid selection. Going down to our next one at 10 here. 
and the Jets go Brock Bowers. I just don't see him slipping that far. And if he does, some strange stuff happens. And that has to involve J.J. McCarthy going top 10. And that has to involve another trade. That has to involve something happening. I see Brock Bowers being a top 10 guy, like past or earlier than 10. Definitely see that happening. Brock Bowers, though, 10 to the Jets. With Aaron Rodgers there. A good receiving threat at the position. I like that. He's going to be a top 5 pick in rookie drafts between him and Roma Dunze and really depends on how thirsty you are at tight end tight end premium he's up there he's up there here comes the pick here it comes guys and the Vikings go JJ McCarthy I think they're gonna have to trade up to make it happen I think so I think someone's gonna battle for that JJ McCarthy at 11 that or McCarthy falls do you think McCarthy gets drafted in the first round and I'm saying that because big media Thought Will Levis was top 10. Big media thought Malik Willis was top 10. J.J. McCarthy's now the top 10 guy when he wasn't a top 10 guy. Three months ago. Four months ago. Five months ago. You said this a year ago. You've been shaking your head. You had said that about Caleb Williams or Drake May. You've been okay. Jane Daniels in season this year. You can make good case. J.J. McCarthy... Does the NFL really like him? Or is that a media smokescreen? But going to the Vikings. I think if the NFL does like him, they're going to have to trade up for him. I don't think he's really going to fall to 11 if they're all about him. J.J. McCarthy to the Vikings, he's getting weapons. He's getting drafted in the first round super flex leagues. People are going to overvalue him. And there's going to be people that are skeptic. But also Justin Jefferson is there. Jordan Addison's there. So we got a lot of upside. We got Hawkinson there. You can build around him. He's already built around. He's already built around. Going to 12 here. Bo Nix to the Broncos. They need to get a quarterback. They need to get help there and need to start building there. They got a quarterback here that was productive. Turned things around there at Oregon. Has some upside there. They're going to have to retool around him, rebuild around him. It's going to be a mess for a bit. Can he be the guy? Can they take it slow with him? Can they be patient with him? That will be the key here. He does have an arm on him. He can't sling it downfield. Maybe he can be the guy, but they got him going at 12. And this is going to put him first round of super flex drafts, maybe on the back end. Maybe closer to Will Levis range of last year. That's probably where we're going to see it in ADP. Moving to 13. Raiders go Latham, offensive tackle Alabama. Quarterbacks are off the board. Penix left. Saints go offensive tackle from Penn State. Colts go. Cornerback Quinion Mitchell, Toledo, killed it at the Senior Bowl, killed it at the Combine, really putting a name for himself, and he's climbing up the board, at least for the media, I'm sure for draft day. Guard, Washington, Seattle Seahawks, Jaguars go cornerback Terrion Arnold, nothing sexy there, offensive tackles for the Bengals, as they should, as they should, so they can keep Burrow alive. And protected, but alive. Because he's getting killed too much. On 19, Rams go Byron Murphy. Defensive tackle from Texas. At 20, here we go. Here we go. Brian Thomas Jr. to the Steelers. George Pickens, Brian Thomas Jr. And we got the collection of Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. He's going to stretch the field. He's going to get those air yards. This team will want to go vertical. These two wide receivers, him and Pickens with Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson throwing it deep. He's got an accurate deep ball. Although, you didn't really see it with the Broncos or you don't think you saw it. But look at Cortland Sutton last year. Brian Thomas could be a huge get for them. Different downfield. A different player than Deontay Johnson. Him on the opposite side of George Pickens is really going to stretch the safeties. And I think in the real draft, if they do go wide receiver here... They're going wide receiver again and again in this draft. That being said, we're moving on to 21. Dolphins go. Center guard, Graham Barton from Duke. The Eagles go cornerback. Oh, those Eagles fans that watch these mocks here that I talk about. They're mad in the comments. They're mad in the comments, and I love you guys. Next, Vikings go cornerback Cooper DeJean from Iowa. Next up is the Cowboys. Tyler Guyton, offensive tackle. They need to rebuild the offensive line. This makes too much sense for them. Packers go outside linebacker with Latu. 
26. The Bucks go Xavier Worthy. We got Godwin. We got Evans. Now we're getting speed. He's going to start off in the slot there. And then they got versatility if they need to make a move at wide receiver later. And we got upside with the speed. Upside and depth if something happens to your veteran wide receivers because they do get nicked up from time to time. He's got some speed there. Dynasty wise, he's a first round wide receiver. Back half of the first round. That's where you're going to see his value maybe early second round. If the running backs pop off in the second round of the draft. Cardinals go outside linebacker Chop Robinson. Bills go with TJ Tampa, cornerback from Iowa State. Detroit Lions, Xavier Leggett. This is the sexy pick of this draft here in the back half. He must be high on him. Must be. But this gives the Lions something different. This gives them speed and size. Size adjusts athleticism here who can stretch the field. You can use Jamison Williams as a situational asset. Amon Ra, St. Brown, just lives in that short to intermediate range, sucking up the targets. Leggett getting downfield. We're getting vertical more. You got to count for speed on this team now. We're getting sexy here. This offense is putting it together. Dynasty-wise, it goes in second. Amon Ra, St. Brown gets a 30% target share. You got Sam Laporta. 20 to 25 percent target share you got a pass catching running back there that being said there's not much meat on the bone left for him to eat so we're going to move on moving on here mims offensive tackle to the ravens niners go offensive tackle this is a very deep offensive tackle class offensive line class in general you're going to see linemen fall off the board like crazy next we got ad mitchell going to the chiefs this is your ancillary wide receiver Chiefs pick in the back half of the mock like we see there. And everybody scrolls down to see who the Chiefs pick in the first round of every mock. Today it's A.D. Mitchell. He's got speed. He can separate. He's going to get Mel some clicks here. Definitely so. But it's warranted. He can definitely be in the back half of the first round. Gives the team something different. You got Rashi Rice. You got Marquise Brown. Now you got A.D. Mitchell. That's a nasty wide receiver group. And now we're retooling. Kelsey's going to be on the out soon. Very soon. And they got to build this pass catching unit. A.D. Mitchell is going to get the Chiefs privilege. He's going to go in the first round of rookie drafts. Let me know what you think about the mock in the comments below. Who got snuffed? Who got overdrafted? Want to hear about it? Hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.